What's up guys, it's your boy Milan Miguel back at it with another video. Today is episode 4 of the AC Milan vlog series, so here we go. Today is September 21st, the 4th match day fixture in the Italian Serie A. Uh, the 4th game of the season for AC Milan. Big, big deal here. Uh, the rivalry between Inter and AC Milan which we call the Derby della Madonnina. Uh, so, let's get into it. So, with that, the week following up, or the week leading into the Derby, uh, we had the Davide Calabria red card incident last week. So he was excluded from the team, uh, suspended, couldn't play in today's match. Um, but in addition to that, uh, Lucas Biglia's agent says that Lucas Biglia wants to retire at AC Milan despite the rumors that he may leave on a free transfer to Genoa or some other Italian club in Serie A. So, see about that. Additionally, Giampaolo came out in the media criticizing Lucas Paqueta for last week's game saying that Paqueta should be a little less Brazilian in his style of play and Lucas Paqueta responded saying that he's a proud Brazilian so I don't really know what that was about I mean just let the guy play in my opinion uh, Paqueta just brings a certain flair and you gotta take risks you gotta take chances uh, Paqueta isn't Kaká, but you know, Kaká had to take chances and take risks in his career too. So, I just think that Jim Paolo is a bit frustrated right now, and I mean, can you blame him? It's it's really difficult, and um, there's a lot of pressure on him. There's a target around his back, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, Paolo Maldini came out to admit that Milan actually considered signing uh, Chucky Lozano, who ended up signing with Napoli. Um, there's also been a rumor that we might get Sesc Fabregas, who were linked with him earlier when he was leaving Chelsea, and left Chelsea to go to Monaco. Um, I don't know, I don't think we need any more midfield uh, players. So, but that's all for the news that I have. So we're gonna get into the Derby. So the Derby della Maronina, the Milan Derby, the Milan and Inter Derby. Milan uh, decided to use this Derby as the Derby against racism to launch their anti-racism campaign, which I completely love and support because there's a lot of racism that happens in Italian Syria, but uh, nobody speaks up about it or does anything about it. So shout out to my club for taking that initiative to speak out and do something about it. Last week against Hellas Verona, uh, Frank Cassier was racially abused by Hellas Verona fans. Um, Hellas Verona, the club, came out on Twitter and said that their fans didn't uh, have any racial abuse, blah, blah, blah. Um, additionally, uh, Romelu Lukaku, the inter forward, uh, was also racially abused last week uh, by an Italian reporter who said that the only way to slow down Lukaku is if you feed him like 10 bananas, which clearly is racist and he said he didn't have any racist intent but um, that guy lost his job so that's good um, racism is absolutely disgusting and despicable um, and we need to take a stand on it so I'm very happy that these two clubs um, are doing something about it and are taking a stand against racism remember say no to racism racism shouldn't be tolerated no one should be judged or be looked different because of the color of their skin. Okay, now for the Derby. Quite interesting. Um, a lot of speculations with the lineup. Uh, we 
thought Theo Hernandez was going to start, didn't start. Uh, we thought Lucas Paqueta was going to start, didn't start. Uh, thought Rebic was going to start, didn't start. Um, but surprisingly as is, Rafael Leal started. I wasn't surprised to see that Benacer didn't start because I was reading, you know, Milan news and they said that Benacer probably won't start, so that wasn't surprising. But um, it was kind of a bummer to not see some of these players start. Um, with the game, okay, so. The game, the first 20 minutes uh, had me so scared. Um, my heart was beating so fast. Didn't know what to do. Uh, Milan were just trapped in their own Martinez. half for 20 minutes. With Inter constantly applying high press. And uh, honestly, I don't know how Inter didn't score. We probably should have lost more than 2-0. But um, we'll take it. Go back to the drawing board. We also have to be patient with Marco Giampaolo because he still hasn't found his best starting 11 or his best 11 players, which he needs to find soon. But um, we shall figure it out. Um, so, yeah. It was good to see Andrea Conti back after being injured and on the sidelines for quite some time, about two years, but um, that guy needs some work on defense, uh, he was just nowhere to be seen on defense, his reaction time was very slow, very poor, um, the guy just looked out of it, and I mean, no, no need to blame him because, you know, the guy hasn't played first team football in so long. It's unfortunate that Davide Calabria had a red card and had to sit out this match. But, um, yeah, that really messed us over. Um, I do have the credit enter. Uh, they are looking very, very strong. Their defense is so disciplined and so organized. Uh, with a back three of Stefan de Vrij, uh, Diego Godin, Milan screening are like I honestly won't be surprised if they win Syria and win the Scudetto this year. I personally think they will and Juventus won't. But um that Syria title race is gonna be coming in heavy. Inter are at the top of the table with twelve points right now. They haven't lost a game. They came close, but they haven't lost a game. So we'll see. Um more Furthermore, on the game, Rafael Leal looks great. Uh, he brought great attacking style, great flair, great runs, great passes. The guy was just doing everything. Um, quite unfortunate that he didn't get to score. Uh, quite unfortunate that the ball deflected off of him to give Inter Milan the first goal of the game, which kind of sucked. But. Um, it's whatever, man. Like, it happens. You just gotta keep your head up and keep moving. I will say, though, um, in the 40th minute, man, we honestly should have scored. Especially with the way how Inter missed multiple chances of scoring, hit the post a couple times. Um, Suso made a great run, and instead of passing, there were three options. He could have passed to the left to Real, he could have passed to the right to Kessier, he could have passed to the other right. Which Piatek was there. Uh, Piatek was there, but um, he decided to keep going and shoot. And Quadro Asamoa uh, just blocked the shot. So I was honestly disappointed. Like in this point in time of what we're dealing with with Milan. Um, we don't really care who scores the goal. It's better for someone to score the goal so that we can be 1-0 up and that shifts the momentum of the game. But um, now, like, I'm just thinking, like, wow, 
had Suso pass that ball to Liao when he had scored. Because Liao was really doing great today, honestly. Um, him and Donnarumma had the best performance on the team. Uh, Donnarumma pulling off some great saves. Um, unlucky for us to still lose 2 0 to Inter. But um, it was good. Um, VAR again coming in, um, giving the goal decision from the free kick shot deflected off of Leal's body. Uh, they said uh, Lataro Martinez is possibly offside. He wasn't offside. Uh, he didn't affect the play. He wasn't blocking the goalkeeper's vision. So, credits to that. That was the right decision. Um, I think this derby, it wasn't a bad derby. Like, the result was poor, in my opinion, because I feel like we kind of gave up after we conceded the goal after halftime. Um, I also think that Marco Giampaolo waited too long to make a substitution. Uh, personally, I think that he should have made a substitution after the first half and brought some fresh legs in. Um, but it's all good. It was great to see Theo Hernandez come back. Um, got subbed off subbed in for uh, Ricardo Rodriguez. Um, I don't know why Jim Paolo decided to put in Ante Rybic in like the 82nd minute and take off Leao. It's like, dude, the game's, the game's over. We're down, you know, 2-0. But um, that was that. Um, we're going to pick our heads up and we're going to try to get some points next week at Torino. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.